One of the secrets to creating a successful channel, follow copyright and fair use guidelines for YouTube. Number one, YouTube requires that you own all the necessary rights to commercially use the visual and audio elements in your video, whether they belong to you or to a third party. Number two, follow YouTube community guidelines. There's a link in the description below this video directly to their guidelines. Number three, create all of the elements of the video yourself, including do-it-yourself videos, tutorials, original music, videos, original short films, vlogs, and home videos. Number four, make sure you own all the necessary rights to commercially use the visuals. Let's talk about fair use. So what about fair use? What is it? And when is it okay to use someone else's copyrighted content? Fair use is a legal doctrine in U.S. copyright law. It says that you can reuse copyright protected material under certain circumstances without getting permission from the copyright owner. For example, brief excerpts of copyright material may, under certain circumstances, be quoted verbatim for purposes such as comedy, criticism, news reporting, teaching, and research without the need for permission from or payment to the copyright holder. So here are the four factors of fair use. Number one, the purpose and character of the use. Number two, the nature of the copyrighted material. Number three, the amount and substantiality of the portion taken. And number four, the effect of the use upon the potential market. In the U.S., fair use is determined by a judge who analyzes how each of the four factors of fair use apply to a specific case. Number one, the purpose and character of the use, including whether such use is of a commercial nature or is for nonprofit or educational purposes. Courts typically focus on whether the use is transformative. That means, does it add new expression or meaning to the original, or does it only copy from the original? It is possible to monetize a video and still take advantage of the fair use defense. Number two, the nature of the copyrighted work. Using material from primarily factual works is more likely to be fair than using purely fictional works. Number three, the amount and substantiality of the portion used in relation to the copyrighted work as a whole. Borrowing small bits of material from an original work is more likely to be considered fair use than borrowing large portions. However, a small use may weigh against some fair use if it's the heart of the work. Number four, the effect of the use upon the potential market for or value of the copyrighted work. Uses that harm the copyright owner's ability to profit from his or her original work are less likely to be considered fair use. Courts have sometimes made an exception under this factor in cases involving parodies. Even if the copyrighted material you use in your YouTube video falls under fair use, you can still get in copyright issues. Only a court of law can determine if your use of copyrighted material falls under fair use. YouTube doesn't make judgment calls on fair use. They give copyright holders the ability to find their material on YouTube through content ID and determine what they want to do with the video that's using their material. So what kind of content can you monetize? You can monetize your video if you created all of the audio and visual content. You can monetize content that you created as long as you still hold the rights to the video. However, if you signed with a music label, for example, you may or may not be able to monetize your video depending upon the terms and or limitations of that agreement. You may need to consult an attorney. You can monetize your video if you use audio and or visual editing software to create your own content, but this depends upon the scope limitations and commercial permissions of the software license. If you've used samples or loops, make sure that the license specifically allows you to use them for commercial use. You can monetize your video if you use royalty-free or Creative Commons content. 
if the license agreement grants you rights to use it commercially. Sometimes rights owners require you to credit the creator of the content or provide proof of purchase in order to use it in your video for commercial purposes. You can monetize your video if you have permission to use audio and or visuals created by someone else. You can monetize this content, but you must be able to provide explicit written permission granting you commercial use to the rights to that content by the rights holder at any time. Can you monetize your video if you're playing or doing a walkthrough of a video game? Whether you can use video game content for monetization depends on the commercial use rights granted to you by the license from the video game publisher. Some video game publishers allow you to use all video game content for commercial use and confirm that permission in their licensing agreements. In other licensing agreements, publishers may not grant commercial rights for videos that simply show gameplay for extended periods of time. For these licensing terms, the use of video games must be minimal unless the associated step-by-step -step commentary provides instructional and or educational value and is strictly tied to the live action being shown. Can you monetize your video if you're doing a tutorial demonstrating the use of software. Whether you can show software user interfaces in a video submitted for monetization depends upon the commercial use rights granted to you by the license of the software. In some cases, you may need a contract with the publisher or proof that you have paid a licensing fee. Otherwise, the use of software user interfaces must be minimal unless your step-by-step -step commentary provides instructional and or educational value and is strictly tied to the action being shown. You may be able to monetize your video if you use content that's in the public domain. For content to truly be in the public domain, the copyright of the work has to either have expired, been forfeited, or is no longer applicable. You must be able to prove that the content in your video is in the public domain and then you may be able to monetize it on YouTube. If you're not sure about the criteria to qualify as public domain, since it may vary depending upon many factors, you might want to delve more deeply into the content uses of public domain. Can you monetize your video if it contains your original recording of a cover song? Some cover songs may be eligible for monetization. In order to be eligible, the music publisher must claim the song through the YouTube content ID system and elect to monetize it. If the song has not been claimed, you may not be able to monetize your video unless you have explicit written permission from the rights owner of the song. The use of any commercial sound recording, including an instrumental, a karaoke recording, or a live concert performance by the artist is not eligible for monetization. You cannot monetize your video if you're using personal recording of public concerts, events, or shows. Although you recorded something yourself, the original creator or author of the underlying content being recorded, the composer, the lyricist of the song, hold the rights needed to commercially monetize the content. If you want to monetize your recording of a performance at a concert or show, you need to get explicit written permission from the original rights owner of that performance. You cannot monetize your video if you made a recording from television or a DVD or a CD. Although you recorded something yourself, the actual creator or author of the content being recorded hold the rights needed to commercially monetize that content. If you want to monetize your recording of a TV show or a DVD or a CD, again, you need to get explicit written permission that is applicable to the rights of the audio or visual elements you recorded. You cannot monetize your video if you upload content that you purchased. Even though you purchased something, it's the actual creator or author who holds the rights needed to commercially exploit this content. You cannot monetize third-party content that you have purchased unless the rights owner grants you specifically commercial rights. You cannot monetize your video if you upload content you found online. 
Although you found the content online for free, in most cases, its actual creator holds the rights needed to commercially monetize the content. If you want to monetize the content, make sure that you have all the necessary commercial use rights for it. You can monetize your video if it contains music from the YouTube audio library in Creator Studio. You may be able to monetize your video if you use third-party content under fair use. Commercial uses are less likely to be considered fair use, though it's possible to monetize a video and still take advantage of the fair use defense in some cases. Want more help? If you're still not sure which content you can or can't monetize, review the video monetization criteria in the links in the description below. I've also included links to information about copyright and fair use for you to learn more about these topics. If you have comments, please leave them below and I'll be happy to address them as long as you're not asking my legal advice. The information in this video was solely provided for educational purposes. If you need legal advice, contact a copyright or fair use lawyer for legal advice or representation. If you found this video useful, please like the video. And if you'd like to continue learning more about YouTube, subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching. I'm Sherry Barbera, and this is YouTube Bootcamp.